Buffalo. Welcome back, a friend of the program, Dr. Fred Hoffman from Mercyhurst University. Doctor, thank you as always, sir, for coming in. We Pleasure. appreciate that. Now, take us back to February of 2022. And the way that you said it was categorized to Russians in Russia was three days. Well, now, sir, we're almost going on three years. Oh, yeah, it, it's uh, pretty remarkable. Mm -hmm. I, I remember back at the time, most people in the West didn't give the Ukrainians much chance if the Russians invaded. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, the Ukrainians didn't believe the Russians were going to invade, and our intelligence folks were over there saying, look, you know, we've done indicators and warnings, and they've done this, they've done this, they've done that. They're coming. And when they did come, uh, most bets were off. But I'll tell you, uh, the Russians are not as good as they mm -hmm. thought they were. And the Ukrainians have fought like, like, like mad to, to keep them out. We appreciate you holding yourself. <laughs> hey, I had to catch myself there. Right. Now, President Putin said Thursday that Russia has tested a new intermediate range missile and a strike with Ukraine. What are your thoughts on that? Right. Well, I think the Russians really, first of all, I think they're in sad shape back home. And they've had tremendous losses uh, of, of manpower. The brightest and best that they had in their military is long since gone. And that's why they're doing human wave attacks on the battlefield, which are incredibly costly for them. Uh, I was saying before that, you know, World War II, United States lost 405,000 troops in four years fighting in Europe and the Pacific. The Russians have lost 720,000 just in, two, in uh, wow. 100, 1,000 days, right? Mm -hmm. So that's uh, not a good sign for them. Doctor, you said that, you know, having been in Russia before and that, and I'm sure still talking with people over there. That oh, yeah. If you even, if you're in Russia and you say the word war, what happens to you? Oh, it's crazy. First of all, it's, it's an autocracy. It wasn't mm -hmm. always an auto autocracy. Uh, when Putin became president in 2000, it kind of devolved into that situation. I mean, now you get arrested even if you go in front of the Kremlin and hold up a blank piece of paper. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's a pro it's taken as a protest. That's incredible. Fred, final question, uh, about 10 seconds to go. On Thursday, we'll be football first or turkey first, then football for you. What's the lineup? Yes. <laughs> Both. There you go. What a great answer. You know it. Before, during, and after. That is beautiful. Dr. Hoffman, thank you so much. We always appreciate it. My, My pleasure. Friend. Happy Thanksgiving to you, by Happy the way. Happy Thanksgiving and to you, you as well. you can see the full interview coming up this Sunday on Inside Area Politics. All right, ask anything coming up right after this.